Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode we spent a lot of money on this viaduct and it is currently running a lot of this crude oil all the way over to the Settle Oil Refinery. Then obviously needs to bring that down to the fuel refinery and then finally drops it off at Settle itself. We also did all of the associated uh, routing for that as well as the trucks here which actually take it from the transfer station up into the centre of Settle. In this episode we want to go ahead and and run through a lot of the trucks and planes that we have because there's been a lot of new stuff so let's just do that now we're going to go over to the uh, routing here the vehicle manager and we can see that our planes are currently set as the Dornier Mercures or whatever they are called and we're going to select them all and then say replace because we now have access to the Douglas DC-3 so in terms of speed we are going from 175 up to 331 but the main takeaway is the capacity which is a double that and oh that would actually cost a little bit more than we've got we currently got 9 million and it would cost 25 million for a Douglas DC-3 so instead what we'll probably do then is perhaps wait for that and get that uh, full replacement when we can but there's still other things we can go ahead and do so for example these buses here we do still uh, run the Gaganar C40 which if we replace them all like so we've got many options now we've got uh, well originally we had the uh, the post bus as well but we've also got the Schneider PB2 and the Daimler deck seat car which is a decent capacity of 11 so it goes from 8 to 11 the power and speed actually goes down a little bit but the emissions also drop as well and a lot of these if we check we can see that they are well mediocre uh, mediocre condition but I know some of them are quite bad so we'll replace all of these and it's not going to cost a terrible amount to replace them all so let's just keep on going around and changing them there we're just going to double check these ones and they're they're mediocre as well and that one also says mediocre that's fine we'll just place them with the deck seat car there it's only going to cost a little bit of money to do and obviously we've only got four of them as well now i know some of these are definitely going to be yeah there's some bad ones there and let's just say i'll replace and then actually we won't replace all of them what i'll probably do is select two of them maybe four of them actually one two three four and we will sell four of them and then replace the rest of them simply because we're increasing that capacity so I don't think we'll need all of them but we can obviously chop and change them when we need to so and we've got SE bus now this is 14 vehicles but we'll probably do sell two of them and then select all replace and then Daimler deck seat car once again so there's a little bit of money spent on that but I think spent in the right place as you can see the planes are landing and then uh, taken off there as well because that's generally what planes do well there's another thing they normally do but it's uh, normally one of those two things just in a very more aggressive manner and uh, unscheduled I am obviously talking about crashing uh, let's have a quick look at this week see there's uh, three people waiting there which is fine and what I want to also check in terms of the line here we're going to check the CT boat and and it's taking people I wonder how many actually will check in this area bought and then click on that and in terms of uh, finances yeah you can see the running costs are absolutely terrible we really don't take many people six passengers currently on that line so probably not worth keeping but we're still gonna um, Still going to keep some there, I think. We've also got the train line now running from Elland through Earl Shilton over to Settle, which I thought was a nice thing. However, we are running the um, A3 uh, Flying Scotsman. I believe we have the Mallard now. Let's have a quick look at that. So over to the uh, trains here, and we're looking for that one there. Earl, um, what was it? It's um, EL, so uh, Elland, Earl Shilton settle train if we say replace how much would it be flying scotsman 120 kilometers an hour whereas we got the a4 145 more power more attractive effort more weight in fact um do we need it it is a little bit more running costs and also costs seven million a piece so that would be uh, 21 million to replace that uh, quite frankly I don't think that is worth it what is surprising is the amount of people waiting around here and what's also not more not so much surprising but concerning is the amount of fuel that is getting wasted at this station let's go over 
down to the settle fuel and we can see we've got a lot of these road vehicles good condition but they are the standard uh, bent tarpaulin truck and we now have blitz truck so we're going to replace that we're running that capacity 7 however we now also have the option for the opal blitz tank truck which can only carry fuel oil and crude oil but difference being carries twice as much 2.2 million for a full replacement i think that is worth it certainly considering that we are going to uh need to carry that fuel how much do we have coming from there that's 248 and going up as well and that means that these trains which were i think one of the most expensive this was the most expensive project that we had uh undertaken it was very very expensive indeed we have two trains one uh, two of them coming from the uh, oil field here and then one coming from the oil field down to the chemical factory and then the chemical factory down to the uh, the city there and in fact we can see them pulling in this is just a standard station we could go ahead and double track it but is there any particular need um i'm not too sure if we configure that we'd have to put them on that side and then do a double track it is possible but for the little weight i don't think there's really much point in it let's have a zoom in and we'll see them all coming out here of the uh, station you can see these are actually marked as red as well these uh, signals which is pretty good and let's see when they go green probably when the train clears the back of that as well there we go goes green on the left and that trundles along with our electric locomotive uh i don't actually know which one that is i can't remember which one that actually is anyway so that is now done let's go ahead and do you want to replace some of the planes i think probably selling a lot of them and replacing them would be worth it um considering that we don't we only need to double the capacity because there's not many people waiting we could probably sell several of them so let's go over to the s uh the se planes i'm gonna select a total of one two actually what condition are these Good condition one two three four five six seven sell them actually we're going to sell another one and then select all replace douglas dc threes and 12 million but you can see the size of it it's extremely shiny <laughs> um and for some reason i can't click on the aircraft again this is a weird bug that I get. Can't click on them. Let's see if we can click on them from here. Yeah. Let's see if this one's taken off. Looks like it is. And there we go. I wonder if it's got all the passengers on. Looks like. Looks like all the passengers are on it. In period clothing too. It's banking over. It's quite low to the ground. But that is actually taking off, which is fairly good. Excellent. So, uh, that is all of those replaced. We probably don't need to get any more, although we'll have to keep an eye on that. Right, so we now have all of the oil going to settle, sorry, the fuel, which means this should start to grow. We obviously have the transport uh, route between settle, Earl Shilton and Elland. In terms of resources going to cities, we have the food and... Machines go to Earl Shilton. We have the fuel going to settle. And, oh, actually also the tools, I believe. The tools, yes, the tools from here are also going there as well. So really, it's only here that we haven't got um, many things going there. We haven't got anything. So there's bricks, uh, construction material, I believe it is called, as well as the tools. Now, the tools, it is unlikely that we can supply them from here we'd have to run a rail line and that would have to go right across here and through and down and 
quite frankly, what we'd probably do because we have an airport is go for transport planes and do it that way. But that's also quite inefficient. But bricks, on the other hand, construction material is also uh, something we could probably look at. And Elland obviously requires, uh, what is that, packages, goods, and construction material. So it's really construction material we're probably going to have to uh, take a look at. But let's first, uh, first things first, we need to go over back over to the things like, uh, where is it? The coal, no, the ore, no. Change all of those. The food. So these are still running those uh, bent tarpaulin trucks. So we'll replace those. And that's what we're running there. And we now have the option for the tarpaulin truck as well as the uh, blitz. Or the, that's the opal blitz dump truck, which does actually take grain. But we don't have these running grain. We'll have to check that out. Um... Which line is this? ES Food 2. Which takes that from there to over to here. Whereas this one is Food 1. Oh, which does actually take that one there. So, is it possible we could replace those? No, it's not. We can't place, sadly, we can't replace the food trucks because the food trucks take the grain to the food processing plant and then in. If we had separate lines, we would be able to do that, but, well, we don't. So it would be that over to there, which is uh, 12, actually, to do that. So let's put it to max speed to get some more money and replace all of these trucks. Although, once again, it is not really necessary to do the full lot because, as you can see, we are supplying the max amount and we're going to increase from these food trucks here. One, two, three, four. We're going to increase the capacity. So I'm going to just sell four of them and then replace uh, them because we're going from a, a capacity of seven up to a capacity of 12. So there's that one there. And that is the food one. And then these ones, one, two, three, four. Sell those there. Select all and then once again replace and it's replacing with the tarpaulin truck and that's a three million job done So that will increase the speed of these things and obviously the carrying capacity So hopefully that'll be working quite well We also have to do the same down here, but we might get away with different lines Let's have a quick look so over here. We've got the wooden tools Manage vehicles, select all, and replace. So these are just carrying... Are these just the uh, bench truck as well? I think they are. Yes, they are. So mediocre condition. So we haven't had these quite... Uh, well, we have already replaced these once. So these are... Um, it is a, it is a good replacement. It, uh, as you can see, increases the speed to 60 max uh, max speed. And the uh, power's gone up as well. But it... Uh, and mainly the capacity is what we're worried about but sadly the uh, the cost of them is uh, slightly prohibitive anyway we'll replace all of those so that is the wood and tools which is fine and that's going to take them into there and then i wonder if there's anything else the sawmill uh which is from there that's the wood tools this one over here which is wood tools so actually all of those are pretty much sorted i think this one here is the bus lane uh, yes the se bus which we've recently replaced with the daimler uh, deck cars this one is the rail line so actually we don't need to replace those there we can see that we have got uh 35 uh out oh, less now going down where uh, because of all of the deliveries here obviously because it's a train it's going to drop off a hell of a lot of fuel so at the moment we've got like 70 odd going there and it uh, oh, how much is there 90 oil and this thing can carry um let's oil fuel uh 16 on the back of it which is well it looks to be 108 and more when we put that on there as well so not too bad at all i am thinking of this does seem to be waiting there quite a while maybe if we if we just added some more, would it be better? Could we even do another train? It's a possibility. I think what we're going to do is configure that. Add the tracks on. Why is it not adding the tracks on? Um... 
That's strange. We've got standard tracks. These are not high speeds. Won't add standard tracks on. It's unlikely because it's in use. And it won't even place that there. Okay, time for another cheeky restart. Okay, back once again, editing track, and this time it works. I don't know what it is with that one. So we're going to run the track up to the edge of the platform, and then speaking of platforms, we are going to have to then put a cargo platform on the other side. Obviously, this will work exactly like uh, the previous one, but let's just uh, go over to cargo buildings, perhaps, and then uh, we'll put a platform in there just to uh, make it look a little bit better. Did I say platform? I meant um, a cargo building so that is now in we can also run track on the other side if we do so desire but um, we don't so let's go over here and then we need to put in the line so the line itself will run probably from the edge there and we are going to have this electrified and then we're going to connect it up to hmm well because of where I've got the the switch this might be problematic uh, can we go from there we cannot. So what I'll do is I will delete part of this. So I'm going to delete that and then delete... Ah, see, that's now complaining that it can't go into there. And yes, you can see all the problems there that it is uh, mourning about. Which, to be fair, it has general... Uh, good cause for concern there. That is now connected in. We still have the one-way lines. What I'm going to do is do the little switch over because I find it is, in general, a good thing to do. And there is a new vehicle, the BRE94. Excellent. And what we'll do is close that down, go over to the line manager here, and we will check the, where is it? It is, it'll be SE1, SE Fuel. SE Fuel is going to go onto platform number one at, is this, what's this called? Lower Settle. And we want the oil to go onto a different area. So the oil will go onto number two, like that. So that is fine. And obviously, uh, Settle North, which is there. So Lower Settle is going to go on to the second side and you can see the colors have denoted that as well so this means that this will happily now work as far as i can tell this is going to come in which it is yeah and normally it would stop there and wait and although it wasn't much of a delay i guess it's uh better doing it this way also looking at this we can see that is just pulling away now and we have 30 odd uh, oil there. Let's just double check that. We see production is 400, shipment is also 400. So yes, another train on there might actually be of some benefit, but I don't know if it would uh, work out entirely like efficiently. I think we're probably best on leaving it. Let's go to buy vehicles here. I'm going to buy another two of these Douglas DC-3s and then obviously put those on to the airline, both of those, and there we are, selected just because we've got one person waiting there and I think it would be of some benefit to uh, move them off there. And once again, we are waiting with uh, some people. That's only 28 though. That's actually okay. That's within tolerance probably, I think, of... Uh what we have going there. So all of those have been replaced. We have all of those replaced. So we've replaced the buses as well as the... Uh as well as the fuel that's going in, which is why Settle is uh, going up in size. And we can see that it is like a lot of uh, cities growing vertically now. We have a lot of these fairly big uh, buildings. And oh, look at that. It's like a coffee time. <laughs> coffee time, billiards, uh, fresh food, corner shop, mini market. It's interesting to see the evolution of of the city. There's one of our trucks. We still have the old there. Let's see, there's residential buildings here. There's a nice little family restaurant. And today's menu is uh, garden soup, I think, and lots of blur. Excellent. Right, so that is now underway. So let's have a quick look at the construction materials that are required. So construction materials. How do we produce construction materials? Let's go over to probably... Uh, where is it? Here. So, Congleton Materials Plant. That takes ore, stone, takes stone and turns it into the material that they use there and there. That's good because we can have a double track 
and double track it up and have that as a freight line although that would require alterations on this area but that's not too much of a problem however where is the nearest stone there's some stone there the Earl Shilton quarry product um it's concerning Earl Shilton quarry is as far as I can tell the only place that supplies it so this quarry here is the only place that supplies stone on this map it is a small map so that's understandable running a train through that is going to be not too bad train there come through here across almost certainly through that mountain out here and then straight over to this area. Once it's done that, we'll continue it along to here. And then, well, we have a couple of options. We could, could train it across. But, what sort of system are we talking here? No, don't like that. It's going to have to be shipped across. So we're going to have to have... A, we're going to have to have a, uh, a dock take it over to here well we already have a rail line and then that rail line will have to then run up here um it is possible it's going to require a bit of retrofitting mainly so at Elland this is the Congleton train station, but it is a passenger only station. Not that that is a problem, because we can configure that to have it as a cargo platform and put a cargo platform on the other side. We could do that, but realistically, it needs to come off to that dock there, which is next to here. And then all we'll do, actually, is probably just extend this road out and then bring it in via truck. Okay, that's what we'll do. So first things first, we will go over to roads then, and we will extend this road along and connect it up like so. It is pretty much as simple as that, and we'll also need to have a building truck station, rotate that around. Um, I assume trams uh, would not function. Actually, have I, is I put that in the right place? Let me delete that. Um, tram... And yes, that's fine. It uh, does actually connect up to here. You see the, the white connections there, which means it's done. Excellent. So that's now in. We also need to think about where the train is going to terminate. So it's going to start there, come along here, and then terminate somewhere over there. I'm just wondering exactly where we put the station, though. So let's have a quick look at our buildings here we want to have a cargo station at 160 meters long with a single track is probably all we need although it doesn't cost much to make a double track and make it a little bit longer just because you know you've always got the redundancy there we will rotate that around and let's see if we place it right next to here will it actually connect up it will and I'm ho what I'm hoping is that we'll be able to then get around properly. So we'll place that in there. We will go to a um, terminus. Two tracks, 140 meters. Um, actually, that is the only quarry. Mm, one track. No. Keep it as two tracks. We might as well. No reason not to, other than the cost. So, that then needs to connect up there somehow. Um, which does like so. Cost a million to fit in. But it's in. And then we need one over on that side. But what I'll do is I'll connect these two up first and work from there. So, from this area, tracks, normal 
standard non-high speed track. That is a high gradient and we don't want it as that. We want it as a level grade, although it is actually going to start to uh, tunnel it, which is something we don't want. We'll go to there. We'll go up to there, which is a standard gradient. And then this is where we will go into the mountain and then out the other side. Uh, we do need to start going level grade, which is actually perfect for us. That's 1.6 million, so quite an expensive bit of kit, but I think it's money well spent. Then obviously across here, that is a very large downhill, which is uh, sort of understandable considering where it's going. And you can see I'm having to uh, bring it right across here and then curve it round over to there. Now I'll bring it into, uh, where did we take it off from? We took it from the right hand track, so it wants to join up. Not necessarily, but we are going to connect up to the right hand track. It is going to completely block this river passage, as you can see. We have options for that metal one, that's your stone one. Um, we'll have it as the stone one. Nothing comes along this river anyway, so there's no real issue. And then there's that now connected up. So that would actually work if we started to send stuff across. However, I think we're best off doing the double track now. Um, although it doesn't like that. Ah, right. It does not like that at all. So... What we'll have to do is get rid of that road. Build it across. Like so, and then go back in with the road. Um, I don't think there's an option for a dirt road these days. Um, no, it's all the... This road here. Too much slope. Um, and there we go. It goes underneath. It's uh, not pretty, but to be fair, we don't really need this uh, connected up anywhere. What I might do while I'm here is upgrade all these dirt roads. They should have been upgraded a while ago, so I think it's worth it. We do use them. Uh, these ones we don't, but I mean, they're on our network. And then, same over here. Spa oh, speed limit 30. Ah! Actually, that's going to make it worse. Medium country road. Two lane country road is what I meant. Right. So we'll have to do that. We'll have to change it back. There we are. Um, so over here. Because otherwise it's going to reduce the speed limit to 30. Which is even worse than what we have. And that should speed them up a bit. And there we go. Right. And then we'll do the same to this little section. As I said, not that we use these, but at least we know we've upgraded them properly. We now have a new vehicle. A big blue bus. Let's have a quick look at that one then. Um, over to the bus route. Replace. Ah, oh, very nice. A city bus on a Sauro Hood chassis 2 B O D dash P body with construction by mm, can't pronounce that. Fifty kilometers an hour, so actually very. Uh, it's actually a lot faster than the Daimler Dexy car. Ran up to 1988, slightly less capacity by only one, but it's got a lot more power and its emissions are lower. If I had not already replaced all of the buses this episode, I would probably go ahead and uh, mess around with that one. Right, so that's now in. Back over to the rail line then, and we want to continue on with the double track. Obviously, I'm going to put in the one-way system as well. 
uh, we'll go ahead and do that in but a moment uh, at this stage we probably don't need it but I think just as a matter of course we'll uh, put it in and there we go right so what we'll do is have our typical just out the station little cross here and construction not possible oh dear oh dearie me right so we'll delete that at least it's easy to delete stuff and add it let's make it a little bit longer and that's better there we go same thing on the other side uh, this will be just before and just after the station as I said it's unlikely that we'll use these but we'll put them in and we'll have to have it on the terminal over here as well let's put in the cargo harbor which is a, actually a fairly big downhill gradient but we'll place that in there and then station terminus 240 meter length and as you can see it's really wanting to just to go in straight into the mountain so let's see what we can do here rotate around a little bit yeah that's just gonna go straight into the side of the uh, <laughs> cliff there okay um, it looks like we are going to be doing a bit of tunneling here so from the edge straight tunnel a million for that but hopefully worth it um you can still put the crossing points in as well under the under the ground which I'm actually quite happy about I would have thought it would have uh, fallen at the last hurdle there although to be fair um yeah, maybe it has. Uh, <laughs> that one's okay, but that one, that one not so much. I don't know what's happened there. Let me see if I can delete. There's no way I'm going to be able to delete that section now, is there? I'm going to tilt the camera so I can see in here. Mm, uh. Yeah, let's let's just not have it there. Okay, so we want the one-way system placing in. So it is uh, that's waypoint signals, tracks, path signal, one-way. Yes. So it will go. Uh, say that like that. Okay. And luckily, it is doing it all correctly. Like that we're not going to have any signals in the tunnel itself and we'll have one just before the bridge and then one just after where we go into the station and same again on this just before we go in the tunnel although to be fair that should be all right and then in there then out there although we are actually going to have to put in some signals here like that but that should be it so that should be our one-way signaling where we have the trains I'm gonna go from there to there drop it off there come back that should be correct okay uh, unless and this is something I didn't check unless we have the Unless we have an issue with the trains, as in the, they use different loadouts. So we can't use the same cars. That's something I didn't check. Oh yeah, that's not going to happen at all. Um, okay, it's far too high up there. Delete that. Uh, in this case, what we'll do is have that come off to there. It's on a very high gradient. It does not matter. Um, the building will simply go in there. And yep, it actually connects up to that. So... Let's see, line, new line, from there, then goes to there, and then to there, and then we'll come back. It will drop off at number two, which is on this right-hand side, I believe. It doesn't state, but... 
Um, no, that should be fine. Right, that's now in. And we just need to add a train to that line. So, we need to make sure that the vehicle that we buy is got it's got good power, good tractive effort, speed not so much. So immediately I'm looking at this BRE94. Obviously the A3 fine Scotsman, A4 Mallard, not so good. Good speed and still good tractive effort, but nowhere near the power of that one. So we'll add that. Oh, we've also got the uh, BC4. So we'll have to maybe go ahead and retrofit our trains with those. Anyway, looking at these, these are actually quite old now. Which is a shame. And, ah, that's a problem. Right. So the gondolas... The gondolas can carry stone. Whereas the side stakes take that construction material. So it's actually different trains. Different trains that do it. Right. We might have to have two trains. Well, three probably. One, uh, two going from the quarry over to the materials plant and one going from the materials plant to the dock and then the boat. So, I think we will leave it there. We could, I'm gonna delete this line. I'm gonna get rid of that line because if to transport both these materials, it would require uh, gondolas as well as the uh, side stake stuff. So it means that we'd have to have to have a 50-50 mix-ish, probably a bit more, and it would just be inefficient. So it's better to have a train or more, maybe two trains, probably two trains, going from the quarry to the materials plant, and then one train from the materials plant to the dock, and then obviously the thing to go across it. We also then have to have the uh, road... Uh, connection, so we have to have the uh, transfer and then into here. So there's loads of stuff to do, and we will crack on with that next episode. As always, if you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.